Bell on topic 10, representing and interpreting data, block one, page 311. And the first thing, we'll have a lot of little discussions today. The first discussion, let's think back towards the beginning of the year. And we were given some options of PBIS dress-up days. And we narrowed it down to four options. How was it narrowed down to four options? A vote. Who participated in this vote? The whole school. The whole students of So it wasn't one grade. It wasn't one gender. It was every student that was present at Moss Bluff Middle that day, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, and we, let's think of the process of how that took place. You were in homeroom, and your teacher probably had a list of all the options on the board, and you got to vote for your top two, I think. How did you put in your vote? Do a ballot. It was a paper. A ballot, basically. Pretty sure you just wrote, raised your hand. You wanted to vote for that. Um, so the homeroom then took teacher, uh, figured out how many kids voted for each category or dress up. Then, if it's going to be a distraction, you can take it off. It's not. Okay. Uh, then, that teacher emailed it to one teacher who took the whole school's information and put it all together. And we saw, figured out which four were our dress-up days. Would it have been fair if they said, well, we'll just let the sixth grade put their vote in and we'll do whatever, whatever they say? No. No? Sixth grade blame, and we don't want them picking our uh, dress-up days. Okay? So the word bias comes into play. What does bias mean? One-sided. One-sided. All right. So... Is it fair or unfair? Unfair. Unfair. Bias means unfair. Um, so unbiased would mean fair. Fair. On page 311. And that's kind of what this topic talks about, is how people vote how people look, use the data, looking at data from votes or surveys. And yeah, that's basically what we talk about in this whole topic. What are some other things that are voted upon or surveyed? Raise your hand. Presidential election. Um, would it be biased to just let Louisiana vote and nobody else in the United States can vote, vote for president? Yes. Yeah. That would be biased because that's unfair. Okay. The whole United States gets to vote for the president. That's fair. That, well, that wasn't a question. It was a statement. That's cool. Uh, what's something else that's voted or surveyed upon? PBIS dress up days. Oh, shocking. I never thought about that. Okay, what else? <coughs> what? Rule changes, as in to, I mean, you could um, if they were up for debate. Um, one thing that people are upset about that was voted upon and was. My eighth grade year of school was the first year that uniforms were implemented. 
So up until seventh grade, I wore regular clothes, whatever I wanted to wear. But eighth grade year, we had uniforms. People got kind of upset. But there was a meeting held, and there's monthly meetings held at the school board office where public is invited to say opinions and vote. There was a special meeting for uniforms to be voted upon. So the people that showed up got to vote upon whether they wanted it or not. So the people that did not show up to put their vote in, can they really complain no. about what was voted upon? They didn't no. even take the time to show up and put their vote in. So they really have no room to talk because they didn't partake in the, uh, the voting process. Um, so a lot of times, and that happens quite often, is people get upset over something that gets put into place, but did you actually contribute to the something getting put into place? No. So you kind of have to take a step back and realize, I probably should have done my part, so the outcome could have been a little different. Um, any other ideas of surveys or voting that you can think of? A town meeting? Uh, uh, like uh, town guidelines and stuff that they vote upon. I agree. Like voting on like a governor or something too. Okay, all the political votes of all those. They vote for laws. How are those votes? What actions are people doing to cast those votes? Are we just calling in? Are we just mailing in? No. What do we have to do? Go to a place that you go to a designated voting center, which is normally a school in our case, and you cast a vote. If a rule gets changed that you don't like and you didn't show up to vote. That's kind of on you. That's what happens a lot of times on elections of all sorts of things. Um, one thing came up earlier is um, like the USA beauty pageant. <laughs> like you watch that on TV and like I, I'm always like, man, that, that girl is clearly better than that girl. And the other girl ends up winning. Did we have a vote in that? No. no. No, there's some judges that get to have a vote in that. Maybe. Could the judges be biased, maybe? Yes. Maybe, we don't know. We don't even know who the judges is. The whole pageant thing is kind of biased, because whatever. I'm not going to get into that, on, especially on YouTube. <laughs> Reality shows have votes. I was thinking about that earlier. You know, like, oh, like, American Idol and The Voice and stuff, they have like um, public saves where you text in or tweet uh, who you want to save or whatever. So you, they're, you're voting to who can save it. So that is, I don't know how fake that might be or if it is real because you never know TV. Um, but that is some form of voting. Anything else voting wise? I was trying to come up with a bunch of different things, but they all kind of seem the same. What do you have? When we won the TV points, they let us vote for ice cream or pizza. That is a option. Yes, I, uh, we voted. The United Nations Security Council. They are voted on. I agree. <laughs> How are they voted on? By the public? No, the council members vote on all affairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, they, they vote for like, the, um, for the police station. They vote for who is um, the best police officer for like the month or something. And so, yeah, for that. To me, I agree that happens in some cases that becomes more of a popularity contest when it comes up. No, I'm, I'm not saying it's wrong, but I feel like let's, let's, let's take our uh, student council running. OK, 
to me, that becomes more of a popularity contest than a... But that came up in another hour. It's not a popularity contest in a way because every student is voting. So did anybody force you to vote for the most popular person? No. You felt obligated because for some peer pressure reason, but you casted a vote and that person ended up winning. So kind of biased, kind of not biased, I don't know. What? Yeah. I would agree, well, like, how do I just randomly select uh, a few girls that's the prettiest to be on my softball team? No. 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 I got some ugly girls on the No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that ends up being more of a tryout base, so it is not a vote. There is a criteria you have to meet. Just so happens, I criteria with grades and discipline as well. So if that is bad, then they get cut right off the bat. Uh, what you got? You vote for the president? Very good. All right. Gonna move to number one. And it has a bunch of video slides and stuff that goes with this that I thought it, I'm quarters on the video slides. And I just wanted to talk about uh, So what we have here is two different pie charts. The pie chart on the right is taken from the school district and it's based on the methods of transportation kids use to get to and from school. So the district's pie chart is on the right. Then this kid, Jamie, wanted to see how his school compared to the whole district. So his is on the left of his school. Well, is it his school's information, isn't it in his district's information? Yes. Yes, but other schools is also in it. So the fact that the district has 75% bus riders, but his school only has 50%. What's that telling me about a few other schools? They have the same results. At least the They're going to have more people riding the bus to make that percentage jump from 50 to 75. That reminds me of when I was at MOLO. The most common transportation for the kids over there was they were taking the bus or they were walking. Then I come here and the, you have cars lined up for miles long waiting to pick up the children. So the most common transportation here is car rider. Okay, we're in the same district. All our data goes to get together. But there is two dramatically different transportations happening. So if we put it all together, our graph would end up changing. So Jamie said that he felt like twice as many students rode the bus at his school compared to the district. Oh, I'm sorry, bike, not bus. So bike is this ugly yellow color. And his school was at 10%. The district was at 5%. Is that twice as many students rode bikes yes. than his district? Yes. So we're going to say true, 10% compared to 5% is how we know it is true. But wouldn't that be multiple schools? That would be more kids? And... But it's still a percentage of the kids. So that is true because you have 10% versus the 5% in the district.
then B, he says he felt like both data sets show one out of every four kids <coughs> ride with an adult to school. So one out of four. That's okay. yes. Can you turn? <laughs> they said one out of four is riding with with an adult. What percent is one out of four? One twenty-five percent. So he says both of these graphs is showing that they ride twenty-five percent rides with an adult. I agree. His school is getting twenty-five percent. However, the district only has twelve percent riding with an adult. So does both show that? No. No, we're going to say false. His school shows 25%, but his district only shows 12%. Then C. So the reason this Jamie dude ended up doing all these bar graphs and math is he was the head of the student council out of this school. And this is what all the slides show, and it was boring. So I was like, I'll talk about it. Um, he was the student council president at his school, and he felt like since their school had so many people either walking and riding the bike, their bikes home, that they needed more crossing guards for safety reasons. So he brought that up to his principal to see if that could be done. And what the principal said is if you do this data and it shows that we have more students than the district Ride, uh, walking or riding the bike home, then I can be eligible to hire more crossing guards for safety. So that's why he ended up uh, completing these graphs. So C is asking, will he be able to hire the extra crossing guards? So the criteria was that walking and riding a bike had to be higher than the district. So I noticed that the school had what 25% was in need of a crossing guard, right, of the school. But the district showed what? 13. 13%. So did they reach more than the district? Yes. yes. So they would be approved to hire a new crossing guard because 25% versus the 13%. vocabulary words that's going to be used in this topic and give examples of them. The first word we have is population and population can be any amount of size. I could start real large as to the population of the world and I could start nar narrowing it down to North America. I could narrow down more United States. I could narrow down more Louisiana. I could narrow the population down to more uh, Lake Charles. I could, oh, Calcasieu. Then I could narrow it down more Lake Charles. Then I could narrow it down more Moss Bluff. Then I could narrow it down more Moss Bluff Middle School. Then I could narrow it down Moss Bluff Middle School, seventh grade. Miss Adams. And no, Moss yeah, seventh grade. Then I can narrow it down. Muscle Middle School, seventh grade, Miss Adams class. Team one. Yeah, y'all are good at this. Then I could narrow it down to math classes. And then narrow it down to our seventh class. No, advanced. 
And then, and then, I could narrow it down to Miss Adams or Moss Bluff Middle School, seventh grade, advanced math class. Miss in Miss Adams class. I have a student that has a birthday today. Oh, and then we go to his cells. And then all the cells that make him up is the population.
opinions counted for? Or if I just asked the sixth graders at the school? That would be tragic. Then, lastly, with this, we have simple random sample. Well, if it's simple, it's going to be easy for me. Random means I need a taste of all the people that need an opinion said and sample is just asking them so we could word that as an easy sample of the population that is unbiased or fair an example of this could be i could put everybody's name in a bowl and draw the 50 students at a time Every once in a while, they'll get on the announcements and hand out those gift cards of such for PBIS stuff. And they'll print all the kids' names that did not have write-ups, put it in a jar, and they draw the names. So um, that is a simple, random sample. that you're getting from a survey and kind of just crunching the number. So, allows you to gather data to study a larger population. And we're gonna list some examples here in a second. But 
What about, um, we did, what did we do? Voting, pulling name, numbers, um, selecting numbers, pulling names. Um, the most popular one is just giving your vote. Um, huh? Yeah, voting. That's just using your data. All right, so that's about it um, for the video. Um, there is more practice. One through five is now up. And thanks for listening. Have a great day. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Go Lobos! Stay tuned to, stay tuned to uh, new, some new merch. Oh, yeah! yeah. 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 yeah.